Alright hey, folks, this is something a little different for you. This is actually fly on the wall, us cooking our tea in uh, the air fryer and also with our little hob. So let's take you on this little journey of a normal day for us with the air fryer and our little hob. Well baby, this is one we haven't rehearsed, isn't it? I've just yeah. literally grabbed the camera and uh, what we're doing now is just preparing little baby Frank's one. You just cooked our little bit of veg there on our little camping stove, which uh, as you know we do. We don't use our large range anymore over there. So what are we cooking in here, baby? Fish pie. Right, so this is one of the fish pies. She actually prepared this one yesterday, folks. I made it this morning. Oh, you made it this morning, sorry. As you see, it's down, it's not up a temperature yet. Mm. It's 25 degrees, so uh, we've got a long way to go on that. How long has this been on for? Uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, but the top's browning off, folks, as you can yeah. see. And you'll find a lot of the cooking you do in your air fryer will be quicker than your main oven, but you're gonna to have to learn your times. So the guidelines they give you on these sheets or whatever are literally just a guideline. So uh, you're gonna to have to play it by ear, have a little experiment, like we're still having to do with this. So uh, yeah, we're just carrying on doing that and uh, we'll bring you back when that's up to temperature. Right, folks, here we go. We've uh, we had to cover the top off because it wasn't up to temperature, as you can see. So we did just put some uh, paper we put it up to 200, shall we? What do you put it up for? 10 minutes. An extra 10 minutes. And can we just have a look at it for a moment now? And as you can see there, folks, it's zooming up there, 82, 84, so that extra 10 minutes. But we didn't want it to brown off anymore, as you can see, so we did cover it over. And if you're going to cover it over, do make sure that you um, tuck it either well in. Don't just sort of lay it on top, because that would blow off. So we did actually fold it around the lip there all around the lip there so right so let's have a look this is one of your classic fish pies baby yes the video's on there we have done a video for this folks yeah. right so here's the fish pie folks look at that look that's for baby frank and that has got what's that got in that show uh it's got some sea bass some salmon and some haddock absolutely lovely and cheesy mash cheesy mash on the top folks and here we go with just frank's little bit of a Broccoli. Bit of broccoli and some green beans there. I say we caught you on the fly there. We thought we'd just give you a real life example of what we do. That'd do, wouldn't it? So there's little baby Franks. And Charlotte likes a big portion, Sharon. Sorry about all the noises, folks. That's the uh, phones all going off. That's life in this house. Yeah, that's right. We'll forever get that because people are in and out the front door all the time. So, can you see the fish in that, folks? Look. Absolutely superb. Well, look. A couple of the bits, just was reduced fish, I put in the freezer. Yeah. I've let it build up and yeah. I've had enough now to do a fish pie. So, basically, when we're going around the supermarket, if we see some fish, because we're not big fish buyers really, Sharon, are we? It's ridiculous prices as well at the moment. Yeah, it? but if you see someone special offer, we buy it and then we freeze it because these fish pies are absolutely fantastic. And I'll beg anyone to try these fish pies, which we've got a recipe for. Did you say you want me to try it? Oh, go on then, baby. Go on. A bit of salmon. Lovely. Mm. The flavour is amazing. What do you think of that Admiral's pie that you get? It's just mashed a bit of sauce. No fish. I've got everything. Do your face. I don't do faces. We leave that to the master chef. <laughs> you know you want to see this. I'm going to have to go into it, folks. Oh, I've got pollocks. Shall oh, I? you've got salmon. I've got salmon and what? What's it? Haddock? I think you just got salmon there. No, there's two. I'll see the pink salmon shell oh. and the haddock. All oh, right. Oh. You know that that fish is so meaty. Well, it's tender as well, isn't it? Really tender. And also, there is so much of it. The white cheesy sauce complements it fantastically. The, the mash on top, which has got a lovely brown tinge to it, it's like it's wearing a lovely brown jacket. And it's covered in cheese as well. Oh, it's, it's all there, baby. But I put the cheese in the mash this time. Oh, that, that big spoon. Watch, go, it'll go in his mouth, look. That's asked it to go, look. We're not going to be dishing any more up with this spoon, folks, so. How big is his chops? 
Um, That's shocking. Um, Don't leave nothing, oh, baby. Look who else wants some. Morning. He had the uh, skin off the salmon this morning when I was preparing it. Did Merlin he? And Dougal did it, didn't you? Yeah. So this is actually real life, folks. This is us in the get down, get down. Merlin. Get down now, boy. This is our life. This is really us in our kitchen when we're cooking, folks. I wasn't hungry earlier. No, I wasn't hungry, but now I've seen that. I've still got enough taste of it. I'm going to put my fish pie in there. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I said, said, I said we weren't going to, I, I wasn't going to have nothing tonight, but now I've just tasted that shell. Get them both out, baby. So this is, yeah, just a typical day, folks. We've got some fantastic videos coming up for you. We've had lots of suggestions as well. That, um, the thing to look for is, was it, what, them pots? Instant pots. An instant it? pot. Or pressure cooker. Or right? pressure cooker type thing. Same thing. thing. And also the halogen hub, which we'll, uh, hob, not hub, hob baby. No, induction, is that the induction hob? The induction hob, yeah. yeah. So we'll be looking into them yeah. as well. I'll have to get new saucepans because I've got not induction hob saucepans mm. there. So, I have to... so the next video we do, we should be doing our five top tips for using your air fryer, which you must know. And also we'll be giving um, probably our five easiest recipes for you to cook as well. So keep an eye out for them videos. Little short, fast one this one, but this is a typical day mm. in our house using our air fryer. That thing, we very rarely use it now, apart from just the bottom oven there, which is we use as a warming oven. And what were you going to say, baby? The washing up is down to nothing. It'll be this pot, this pot, and your dinner plates. Yeah. Oh, and there'll be another one of them, of course, in a minute. Oh, them bells, Sharon. I can look at them as bells. The ninja has not got dirty, so... That's it. Can I have a look? Wash that. There's four in there. I've not took out. Is there? What do you yeah. mean four? Well, that one's clean, Sharon. Yeah, the other one's clean. I've not used the other one. Oh, there you, there you go, folks. Look. So what some people say is that if you put foil under your tray, mm. I'm not going to touch that now because it's hot. But if you lay foil under your tray, then put your crisper back on top. It saves on the, the washing up and the stickiness being stuck to. Because when you take that out, you just Take your foil out, screw it up, and you've only got a little bit of cleaning around the edge there as well. So, that's another little top tip for you folks. That may only be a few months old, but that's had a lot of use. It's had a lot of use now, and it saved us a lot of money as well, baby. And also, don't put them in your dishwasher, wash them by hand, because yeah. I've seen a lot of people have got them in dishwashers, and they've, the coating's starting to come off, and they're just it's quick and easy. As soon as you've used it, warm soapy water, leave it on the side, eat your dinner, then wash it. Yeah, Simple. what we do, we just pull it out, let's say all that bottom was sticky in there. We get the fairy liquid or the washing up liquid, we go in there like that, and then under the hot tap, and just agitate it, and leave it on the side, and then just come back to it a little bit later, as if you've got loads of sticky residue yeah. in there. And then it just comes off nice and easy. I've got to give Charlotte her dinner. Stop nicking dinner, Sharon. Yeah, yeah, not a Charlotte. Go and take my dinner, she it'll be cold. She doesn't very well, so I didn't give her a too big a dinner. No, that's all the more for us then. Yeah. Dougal, at Merlin, get down. Right, so here's the second one we're going to put in, folks. And all she's going to do this time is literally put some foil over the top, Sharon. Right, so, okay, folks, we've just covered that up now. And we're just going to drop that into our Ninja. There we go. So now we've learnt from the last one we've done. We're going to put this on now at 200 degrees for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And that's that ready. And then at the end, I should put it on maximum crisp for about five minutes just to brown the topping off. And you'll take that foil off. Yeah. So that's it. Fantastic, baby. Okay. So that looks like that's a bit of spare, isn't it? Well, no, it's going on your plate. Will it? Yeah. Right. So there you go, folks. That is us on a normal evening, just doing our stuff in the kitchen. And lucky enough, as Sharon said, there's not a lot of washing up at all. So there you go. Thanks very much. Do check out our other food videos. Do check out our vlogs as well of a Sunday where you'll see us at 8 p.m. on Sunday evening where we upload our weekly vlog and that's a live chat box there and you can be in the chat box and have a live chat with us as well. Apart from that, do check out our other food videos. We've got loads of air fryer recipes. We've got slow cooker ones as well we're looking at starting the build the playlist for and also many of our other cooking videos as well which you should find a bit fun and entertaining, baby. Yes. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. See you in the next video and until then, bye. Bye for now.